A nuclear-powered Russian nuclear submarine, which sank in 1989 off the Norwegian coast, is leaking high levels of radiation into the sea. That's according to Norway's Radiation and Nuclear Safety Authority, who say the radiation level created by the leak is 800,000 times higher than normal. This, raises, this finding sorry, raises questions about the safety of the Russian fleet as it follows another accident with a different nuclear-powered Russian submarine, which killed 14 sailors earlier this month. Alistair Sanford joins me now in the studio with more on this story. Alistair, what do we know about this particular submarine? Yes, morning Rosie. Well, the Komsomolets um, was part of the new generation of Soviet submarines back in the 1980s. It was a nuclear-powered attack submarine. Um, it could dive much deeper than US submarines. It was very important to the Russian fleet at the time. In April 1989, a fire broke out when an air supply line burst. Um, 42 sailors uh, were killed amongst the 69 who were on board, uh, most of them um, from hypothermia as they waited for rescue. The vessel sank to the bottom of the Norwegian Sea to a depth of almost 1,700 metres. It was carrying with it two nuclear torpedoes with plutonium warheads. Now, the wreck has since been monitored quite regularly by the Norwegians and by the Russians. This week, the Norwegians had a chance to use this new remote-operated vehicle, a robotic mini-sub that was able to go down and take samples from the submarine. And this is the first time that we've seen pictures like this. They've taken samples before from around it, but they've never been able to see the wreck in such detail. And they took samples in particular from a ventilation pipe that the, they'd homed in on thanks to the Russians who'd uh, studied that in previous inspections. And what they found were high levels of cesium-137. The highest was 800,000 times m higher than normal. Now that sounds terrible and very alarming, but the experts say <clears throat> it's not particularly dangerous. The expedition leader, for instance, said, uh, for instance, said this is well below the permitted limit for uh, radioactive cesium found in food products. Also, they only found those levels in the duct itself and not, for instance, in the water just outside it. And the wreck is so deep that there's not many fish around. And basically, they say that it's not particularly damaging or dangerous. It's not the first time, though, that we've heard about a problem with a Russian nuclear powered submarine. How safe, I guess, is the question, is the rest of their fleet? Difficult to say, but what we can say is that there's a lot of things that are, that are shrouded in secrecy. Now, there is a coincidence around the timing, because it's just uh, earlier this month that we heard about this new accident in the Barents Sea. The Russian government confirmed there'd been a fire on board this top secret nuclear powered sub. And yes, 14 Russian sailors were killed. The authorities have been accused of covering up the details. They didn't give the name of the submarine or the mission it was on. But the defense minister did say that the nuclear reactor was operational and that the crew took measures to protect the reactor. President Putin described them as heroes. There are unconfirmed reports suggesting that they averted a much more serious disaster, but we really can't say whether that's true or not. But what we, what we can say is that submarines are very important to the Russian Navy right back to the Soviet times when they saw them as a way of countering a threat from US aircraft carriers. The worst disaster was in 2000s, the year that Putin took power. Uh, there was the explosion on board the Kursk nuclear-powered submarine. Uh, there was an international race to try and find the sailors on board, but basically all 118 were killed. It was one of the worst peacetime nuclear uh, submarine accidents.